They were called the hard luck crew because every time they flew a mission, they were the most battered plane in the group. They crashed near Berlin on July 7, 1944. All nine crew members died. Staff Sergeant Ralph Bunnell will now place the rosette for Staff, Staff Sergeant Cody. On this day, airmen stationed in Glons, Belgium, are remembering these men who once were lost, but are now back home again. Stiglitz, an accomplished violinist, was a 25-year-old radio operator when he died. A small rosette is placed on the wall of the missing next to their names, signifying that they are no longer missing. It's an important step for the families of the fallen and for the airmen who were here. We don't leave an airman behind. Um, and this is the very last step in making sure that we don't. We find them, we bring them back to their families, and uh, pay them the proper respect. This ceremony gives a final farewell to the nine airmen in Crew 801. A major reason the airmen were found is because of the tireless work of this man, Enrico Schwartz, a German citizen who spent the past four years trying to find where the B-24 crashed. The missing is actually my buzzword. This is why I'm doing it because of missing. This is a very cruel term. It means no closure, open wounds, it's no ending. This is it's a terrible term. It's, it's a very gruesome term to me. And this is what I'm trying to fight against. For nine World War II aviators, that fight ended in a final trip home to an eternal resting place. Air Force Sergeant Eric Kerr, Hamburg, Belgium. Thank you.